What's up, boys? Undead here. It is... What is today? August 16th, which means Tuesday, three days ago. Outlaw was nerfed. Uh, let's talk about it. First of all, let's pull up what the nerf actually is. Uh, we'll talk about the other tuning here, too. So, it's a pretty big nerf, but... I'm pretty okay with it. Actually, I'm kind of happy they finally did some tuning, and we'll get to the reasons why in a minute. But the nerf is that Blade Flurry now strikes nearby enemies for 30% of normal damage. Previously, this was 45. Uh, so this is like a 30% nerf to Blade Flurry damage straight up. And the Keep Your Wits About You Azerite trait now increases the chance for Sins to strike again to strike again by 3%, this was previously 5%, and the maximum number of stacks has been increased to 33, which I'm going to come back to in a second. The developer's notes are, while multi-target cleave is an iconic strength for Outlaw Rogue, we feel that Blade Flurry is currently too strong, particularly in Mythic Plus. Likewise, the Azerite trait, Keep Your Wits About You, provides too much added value to their area of effect rotation at only a single instance of the trait. These changes should keep Outlaw Rogues very strong at multi-target cleave, but no longer significantly ahead of other specs. And they're correct, that's what it did. Um, so the Wits change is the part of this that I don't agree with. I think they could have done something else. Uh, but the Wits change effectively hurts our priority damage and hurts Outlaw's strength in raid a bit. <clears throat> in being able to like funnel boss damage off of adds while still cleaving adds very well uh, you're just going to gain less priority damage from wits because it's going to stack less um, you'll gain less AoE damage from wits also but not significant enough to really be worried about uh, and also they, they mentioned that it stacks to 33 which is arbitrary because every stack after 22 doesn't do anything so we have a base chance to... What the? Java update. Get out of my life, dude. So Outlaw has a base chance with Sinister Strike to double hit of 35%. Which means you need 65% from Wits to make that chance 100%. Which is obtained at 22 stacks. 3 times 22 is 66. 66 and 35 is 101. So if you are tracking wits, uh, which I recommend doing, it, it's really, it doesn't impact the rotation much, but it impacts it enough uh, that it's valuable to be tracking with a pretty simple weak aura. Like I just, it just shows on my screen, my wit stacks. Um, but anything past 22, you can ignore. Uh, I know this is kind of convoluted and I don't know why they make it stack past what's useful, but they do because it's blizzard and that's just the way it is. Um, but the the sweet spot for if you were if you were tracking your wit stacks previously, and at a certain number of stacks, ignoring opportunity procs for the small gain that that is, uh, the new number is thirteen to fifteen ish, uh, is when you can start just slamming sinister strikes. Uh, the likelihood that you're going to double hit is high enough at that point. Um, still obviously spend your dead shot procs, but opportunity procs, if you have the energy to facilitate it, can be ignored at that point. Um, and then the blade flare damage is just like flat damage and is good. So before we talk about what this means for the Mythic Plus meta, let's look at the other changes. Uh, they're pretty simple. To flat 5% to both Frost and Unholy. Flat 5% to Destruction Warlock and a flat 5% to Arms Warrior. And then Shaman got some sweeping changes too. They get buffed in like every regard. Um, you can tell that Ian, or Ion, whatever the flip that man's name is, has been struggling to kill Ashvane because he's buffing himself. Uh, healing Surge <laughs> is buffed by 10%. Mana cost reduced by 5. Healing Wave buffed by 10%. Healing Rain buffed by 20%. Riptide buffed by 15%. And Wellspring buffed by 15%. So, Shaman first. This class is still bad in Mythic Plus. One of the weaker healers. It's obviously less weak now, but it's one of the weaker ones. Um, sorry for you, Resto Shaman mains. If you love Mythic Plus, uh, 
Druid, Miss Weaver, and Holy Pally are all very good right now. Just play one of those. Um, as far as the buffs to other class and the nerfs to outlaw. So, the damage nerf to outlaw leaves us in a place where we are still the best mythic plus spec in the game. Uh, you just won't be 20% ahead of every other spec in every dungeon you do. Uh, nerf's like a 13% overall damage nerf typically over the course of a dungeon. And still leaves you at one of, if not the highest, raw damage output classes just because the damage profile of Outlaw suits Mythic Plus so well in that you're not cooldown dependent, you don't have ramp, your single target is good, your priority is good, your cleave is even, and you have damage all the time. <clears throat> that's like, that's exactly what you want in Mythic Plus, especially in live keys. Uh, we'll talk about MDI tournament realm keys in a little bit, but especially for live keys, it just suits every dungeon so well on top of still having the strongest utility kit in the game. Uh, even compared to the other two rogue specs, Outlaw just has more, mostly because you're able to vanish mechanics off and you have access to gouge, and rotationally you just stun things for free. Um, the comparison to Assassination Rogue, I think Outlaw is still a little bit ahead on damage overall. And Assassination still runs into the issue where if they want to spec for Mythic Plus by running like two Echoing Blades traits, Outlaw just does more boss damage. So, they're certainly very close now. Um, but I still think Outlaw is going to pull ahead in most dungeons. Um, I ran a couple pretty high temple keys this week, which is historically a pretty good assassination dungeon. And I ran them with Morning Wind, who is like what I consider to be the bar for North American assassination rogues. Right, you kind of have Soliathan in Europe and you have Morning in NA. And even in those dungeons, um, still managing to be pretty far ahead in overall, as well as boss damage. Um, so that was kind of like my litmus test to see what the nerf was going to be. So, so basically we're fine. Uh, other, other specs that are just like blaster specs in Mythic Plus and don't bring a shitload of utility that may keep up now or even pass you. Uh, surprisingly enough, I think Frosty K is actually really strong in keys with the buff. Uh, both Tournament Realm and Live Keys. I think obviously lacks the utility of Rogue, uh, but they're super survivable. Like DK has always been like, if you don't get one shot by something, the DK doesn't die. Just because Death Strike for DPS, Death Knight is so strong. Uh, Shadow Priest's raw damage output in keys is uh, always been very high. Again, they just lack a lot of utility, so they might they might out damage an outlaw. Um, Demon Hunters are obviously very good. I I'm not sure that Demon Hunters have surpassed outlaw yet, but they're very close. Um, and Fury Warrior, Fury Warrior is probably probably going to beat an outlaw in most dungeons now if the Fury is very good. But again, they bring zero utility. Uh, what does it mean for MDI? Let's talk about MDI real quick. Uh, I think it means even less for MDI. Uh, MDI, we, we've started on time trials this week. They started yesterday. Um, we have Toldagor, Ataldazar, King's Rest this week. And I think two of those dungeons were definitely running double rogue. Uh, one of them we might run double rogue, though we've been re messing around with a comp build around mage in Toldegore. So we're running one rogue currently, but we could still end up running double rogue in there, I think. Um, and Atal and King's Rest, I think, are still very good triple rogue dungeons. Uh, you can just slot in a Windwalker or a DK uh for for a slight benefit but i think most of the most of the mdi meta is going to be double rogue in a lot of places um and then some dungeons you'll slot in dk windwalker 
mage and niche situations maybe some fury warrior though mdi is a little less conducive to how fury wants to play um but overall i think the change was good i think outlaw has been oppressive in mythic plus for nine months now december 11th we got keep your wits about you as a new trait and as soon as keep your wits was a trait i think outlaw was instantly far and away the strongest mythic plus spec in the game um kind of disappointed that it took this long to do something about it and also dis disappointed that it took triple rogue in the mdi being meta to spark their action because it just kind of says how detached the balance team is from the game that they don't know these things until it's like literally right in their face and you kind of like as a as a fan of the game as somebody who's played the game for a decade and a half now like you, you hope that the team behind it is on top of their shit and then like sometimes there's examples that lead you to realize that they most certainly are not and it's i mean you can't help but be like a little bit sad uh but anyways for all you outlaw rogues out there please do not be worried about the nerf the nerf is fine the nerf was deserved um if you're struggling to keep up in dungeons right now and other classes are beating you consistently uh, i would use that as motivation to figure out what mistakes you're making uh, because we still are like i said nine times out of ten the highest damage in class in any given dungeon as well as the highest utility class <clears throat> all the time no matter what um so that's it for this i hope this calms your your nerves a little bit i know there's a lot of people freaking out when the nerf came because the numbers are big like it does seem like it's it's a little overboard but i think it just says it's a, s a statement about how strong outlaw was to begin with um like I said, time trials for MDI Cup number two is going on right now. Uh, so if you guys are interested in that, please stop by the stream. I stream at twitch.tv slash undadtv, and we will be streaming our practice this week, uh, mostly in the evenings, having a good time experimenting in these dungeons. So it's a blast if you guys want to come hang out. And then if all things go to plan and we qualify, we'll be playing in the tournament again next week. So check us out there. We're team No Girls Allowed, my dudes. Uh, thank you again for watching, boys. Thank you for subscribing, uh, liking my videos. If you haven't and you do enjoy the content, please do. And I will see you around.